And a police officer facing serious charges after he's arrested in the early morning hours at his home. Topping our news at five, we told you yesterday about a Detroit police officer arrested on his first day on the force. Well, this time it's an officer with Westland Police, and he hasn't been on the job very long either. Sebastian Ayavusil was taken into custody just weeks into his tenure. Larry Spruill live with what we know and what the prosecutor is saying about it tonight. Larry. Good evening, Karen and Devin. I just heard back from Kim Worthy's office and a spokesperson with her office tells me that that officer is accused of hitting his girlfriend in the nose and strangling her this weekend. And now tonight, the police chief here at Westland Police is reacting. Take a listen. This newly hired Westland police officer is in trouble tonight. We're talking about Officer Sebastian Ivasil. Local 4 obtained his mugshot from his arrest over the weekend. Northfield Township Police said they arrested him around 2 in the morning on August 22nd in Northfield Township. They would not go into details of the arrest, but a spokesperson with Northfield Township Police tells me he is charged with assault with intent to do great bodily harm, less than murder, and domestic violence. Westland Police Chief tells me he is a new hired officer. As a matter of fact, here is video and photos of Ivasil being sworn in as a Westland officer in his swearing in ceremony on July 6th of this year. I talked to Westland Police Chief Jeff Jodrusik. He sent me this statement about the incident. It says, I recently learned of the off duty domestic violence incident involving Sebastian Ivasil. His involvement in the off duty incident has resulted in criminal charges against him. There will be a separate Westland Police internal investigation taking place regarding his employment. He is a newly hired police officer who was still in the training program. At this point in time, he has been placed on administrative leave pending the conclusion of the investigation. And that officer was arraigned yesterday 